this video I'm going to work out one example of an implicit differentiation. I would assume that you've got a little bit of experience with this um, and then this would just be used as a practice problem for someone that's probably in a Calc 1 class just learning how to do this. Alright, I've got x is equal to secant um, 1 over y here. So first of all I want to indicate that I'm going to be taking the derivative of both sides. So d dx on the left hand side and box in whatever you're doing there it shows you're going to get ready to take the derivative here d dx and then of what is on the right hand side. Okay, so when I'm doing implicit differentiation and I'm uh, taking the derivative of just a plain x term, I'm going to dip uh, differentiate like normal so right here on this side I'm going to have a 1 alright over here I do have a y term so this is where my chain rule is going to come into play I'm going to take the derivative of the outside function function which is secant right there so derivative there would be secant tangent so I will have a secant 1 over y and a tangent 1 over y alright and then because I've got the chain rule in here I'm gonna have the derivative then of the inside function and I am gonna go ahead and show that with that ddx notation right there okay now on this part right here you could <coughs> excuse me do it a variety of ways if you wanted you could do quotient rule um, if not here let's come out here you could probably do it a little bit faster if you would take that y to the first power move it up to the top use your laws of exponents and make that a y to the negative one all right taking the derivative there i'm going to have a negative one y to the negative two move that back down to the denominator so negative one over y squared and since i am taking a derivative here with the y then i'm going to have to have that y prime in there um, a lot of people will use dy over dx notation in implicit differentiation i kind of like y prime just because it's a little bit cleaner so i think that's faster if you wanted you could have done quotient rule you should still end up with this type of answer here so replacing that here i'm going to have 1 equals secant 1 over y, tangent 1 over y, and then times the negative y prime over y squared. Okay, at this point, um, I am ultimately going to need to solve for this y prime, so I definitely want to get rid of that y squared. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by, um, actually, let's go ahead and get rid of the negative 2. Let's make it a negative y squared. We'll multiply this side by a negative y squared as well. Okay, um, so when we do that, then we're going to be able to cross out the y squared. So we'll be able to cross out the negative on this side, which will then just leave us on the right-hand side. I'm going to pull this out in front. We'll have the y prime, and then we'll have a secant 1 over y and a tangent 1 over y left-hand side there is just going to be a negative y squared. All right, now to uh, go ahead and solve for the y prime, basically just divide both sides of the equation by this. So we'll have a negative y squared over a secant 1 over y, tangent 1 over y, and then that is equal to our y prime. Okay, so really, in all honesty, a pretty straightforward implicit differentiation. Um, definitely with the trig functions there, so you do have to have that memorized. And you got to remember to put those y primes in whenever you're differentiating a term that has a y in it. Uh, definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.